Hey everyone and welcome back to Aaron Limitless. Uh, today we are resuming the modern farmhouse build. This is part six, which will be the entryway of the house. For those of you that are joining for the first time, welcome. And for those of you that are returning, welcome back. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Um, before I get started, if you want, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to hit the bell notification and subscribe and I will appreciate it. Okay, so now I'm just putting in the staircase i was super happy when they did the update to allow you to be able to do these um multi-platform stairs whatever you want to call them with a landing it just makes it look a little bit more grand it would be great if you could make them go both ways just to have it be a little bit more grand going down but i'll take this over just having it go straight down into the room itself definitely looks a lot more high-end so I was definitely happy to be able to do that and it actually worked out perfectly for this entryway as you can see I was kind of just messing around trying to figure out why it was showing the outside I think it's just some random glitch it doesn't seem to do it when you're upstairs so I kind of just end up giving up on it and let it go for now so as you can see I'm kind of messing around with that trying to figure it out for a bit eventually I kind of gave up and was like okay whatever it just is what it is so kind of just wanted to see if you guys had that kind of issue too i edited out part of it because it actually took a lot longer i tried a couple other things but i figured i would just add this in just to show you guys that this was definitely the one thing um during this build that was kind of frustrating to figure out but you know whatever it's going to happen it's been really lucky with the rest of the rooms having minimal issues whatsoever so i guess it was bound to come up but I mean, so I figured while I was up here, I would build up the hallway and kind of just, you know, do the banister and all that kind of stuff while I go downstairs. So I love this chandelier. This is not in the game. This is custom content. But I just thought it looked so beautiful in this room. So um, as you can see now, I wanted to put kind of like a white marble tile in. I prefer to usually do wood floors and then do throw rugs. But for the entryway, I really wanted to try something different. So I put in this beautiful, almost kind of like a Calcutta white marble in there you can see i put in some more kind of elegant retro lighting i wanted it to be a kind of dark moody entryway when he first came in just because i felt like it just stuck out so much better with you know everything in the actual uh room and whatnot so at this point now i'm kind of just trying to get my thought on what i want to do and how i want to lay it out so you can kind of see um, there's a long wall in the back and I knew I wanted to put something directly underneath that chandelier and then I knew I wanted to put something on both sides of the door so I'm just kind of trying to think of how I want to lay it out and the color scheme I want to do I usually do this um, when I'm doing most of my builds but this one I kind of just wanted to kind of get a glimpse of how exactly I wanted to build it
space. And um, eventually I'll probably put a bathroom somewhere downstairs. I just need to figure out exactly where I want to have like a little powder room for people to use. But um, so now you can see I'm trying to find the kind of chair to put over there. Just have something so when you come in you can like take off your shoes and stuff by the coat closet. And then I'm going to the other side and I figured I wanted it to match. So I decided to use the same chairs over in the corner. Then I wanted to put some marble because I knew my goal. I really wanted marble of some sort the wall so I found these beautiful little pillars to put and decided to put a little console table in there um, along with a pretty piece of art and went through a couple of lamps and all that kind of stuff and um, yeah I found this beautiful light that I absolutely love um, it's custom content again and uh, it's very pretty I honestly will probably end up using it a couple times in this house these pieces of um, plants I just size up and it will fit in there perfectly with it now I'm just trying to find what piece of art I want to put up there so I think I end up putting a larger piece just for more drama and to have it you know fit the scale since it is supposed to be a grand entryway even though I want it to feel intimate and homey so that's why I put a lot more in than I normally would in an entryway because I did want it to feel like a really cozy you know warm inviting place even though it is very modern to try to get those two different you know styles and whatnot so over here i decided to do some artwork but then i switched my changed my mind decided to do a mirror because i thought it would actually aesthetically look more pleasing because people could look into it when they arrive and whatnot before walking out the door so um, as you can see i took down the artwork and now i'm trying to figure out what to put on both stands i know i wanted to have some plants in there so i decided on some nice floor plants to put in there and then decided I'll probably end up doing lamps before I move on to, um, you know, doing the mirrors and whatnot. But um, I did try some books because I do like to use books for decor a lot, but it just wasn't working in there. So I ended up deleting it and I wanted a more matching style. So as you can see, I kind of took that stuff out before I chose the um, mirrors and, you know, the lighting that I wanted to go into that area. So you'll see that I will go back to that um, section and decide what I want to do with it instead. I can't remember if I removed those books or not, but I did decide to do a little corner cabinet over here. More of this beautiful art that I had in one of the other rooms from the same um, creator. So I made another little matching cabinet over here, but just wanted to have something over by the stairs so it's not just sitting empty. But I didn't want to put too much over there either. So I think I just threw a lamp and then a plant over there and that was literally pretty much the only thing um i ended up throwing over there but um yeah guys so that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video this was another short one because it was such a small area but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um comment down below what you think about it and if you like the entryway this is honestly probably one of my favorite rooms to do just with the way everything was laid out it was just so stunning and beautiful um, also, just to remind everybody, I will be doing one full long, two hour long video of all these stitched together at the end when I'm done with this um, home tour. And I will have like all of, like the screenshots of the actual home in live mode so you guys can see it and enjoy it. But um, yeah, so thank you guys again for watching Aaron Limitless. I will leave you here to be able to see a kind of little glimpses of the room fully done now. And I will catch you in the next video. Um, if you have anything else you want to see, make sure you comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you, and have a good one.